Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about top 3 best garage heater. Starting at number 3. Ferenheit FUH54. This 240 volt heater for garages is designed to be hardwired into your home's main circuit. At its lowest setting, it operates on a level of 2,500 watts, and on the highest setting, it operates on a level of 5,000 watts. This means that regardless of the temperature that you prefer in your garage, it gets the job done. Though this heater looks small, you will find that it is very solid. Its industrial construction is heavy duty and rugged, with the outer being made of a solid stainless steel construction. The louvers help you direct airflow, warming the most important areas of the garage first. Inside the package, you will find a ceiling mounting bracket. The major downside of this unit is the internal thermostat. The thermostat does not always function as well as or as long as you would like it to. This can cause the area that you are trying to heat to become sweltering hot, or it can cause the room not to warm to temperature. Since the unit itself works well, you can always have an external thermostat wired to the device. If you are unsure of how to do this, an electrician is the safest way to install the thermostat. Check out the description for more information and latest price. Coming at number 2. Newer G73. This 240 volt heater can use up to 17,000 BTUs, or 5,000 watts of heating power. It is controlled with a single pole thermostat, which you can easily set. Then, the heater gets to work. You install it by hard wiring, as you would the previous listed model. Inside the package, you will find a swivel bracket, which allows you to control the direction of the air and holds the garage heater securely in place on the ceiling or wall. Another great feature of this heater is its ability to withstand the cold when it is not in use. The outside of the heater is constructed of stainless steel, which resists rust and corrosion on its own. It is also coated with a weatherproof powder, ideal for ensuring that your investment will last several years. Additionally, the heater is all certified. In addition to adhering to these safety guidelines, the machine features an auto temperature control. This control will shut the machine down completely if it begins to overheat, preventing fires and other mishaps. The one downside of this garage heater is that its maximum temperature is 70 degrees. While this is a comfortable temperature to be outside in, it does take quite a while for the garage to reach that temperature. And number one of this list. Dr. Heater DR966. This Dr. Heater model keeps things toasty, being able to heat a cold 700 SQ. Feet garage to 65 degrees, even if it's only 20 degrees outside. Instead of needing to make room for it on the floor, where you have to worry about tripping it, you can mount this heater using the included mounting bracket. There is a low and high setting, as well as an adjustable thermostat, so you are in control. One of the disadvantages of this heater is that it does not come with the wires and cords necessary to hardwire it into the circuit of your home. Also, something that you should note is that when following the manufacturer's installation instructions, the heater for the garage might overheat or not perform well enough. To avoid this issue, consider setting up a 240V connection directly into the circuit breaker to install. If you do have experience with electrical, then check out the video below for help. If you do not have experience doing this, you may want to choose another unit or hire an electrician to set up the 240V connection for you. All of these items are available on Amazon.com. I have included all the links in the description. You can check out these links for latest price. Guys thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. Share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe.